Hey there, welcome back to SimTech channel. So this is a follow-up tutorial on the Mini Solar Lamp Teardown. In the previous tutorial, we basically discussed the basic functionality of this emergency solar lamp. We were mainly focusing on the charge controller board that you can see here. We basically drew this circuit and we understood that based on our drawing that this circuit is basically acting as a charge controller because it is there to detect the light source from the mini solar panel here and control the charging going in through this uh, small battery that we've got here. Okay. At the same time, it is also controlling the power going in through the LED. But now we left out this board here. This is a very interesting. It's actually the, the most important element here, if we can argue that way, because it is indeed the one giving the light out. The bottom line here is that you're not going to have uh, a mini solar lamp without this LED board coming into play. Right, so this is why in this follow up tutorial, we will focus on this LED board functionality since we picked up that there is a PR sensor on this board, as you can see. Now, the PR sensor here plays a crucial role, it turns off the LED when there is no motion detected. Okay, now, based on part one of this tutorial, we saw that the LEDs only come on when there is no light source detected, so that basically means it will be running off the battery. Now, since it is running off. The battery to save power this motion sensor come to play right how now it does so by turning off the leds if there is no motion detected so you've got your emergency light on and all of a sudden you just leave it uh, lying there maybe you run into something else now this motion sensor is going to turn off your leds to save your battery power okay the only way you can get it back on is by waving or moving so it can detect motion so that's the focus of this part to tear down is to basically look at how this circuit is wired now you can see clearly it's a very simple circuit already we can see that these leds based on our understanding these leds are all connected in parallel okay and that is to allow them to work off the three volt batteries okay then we've got a small transistor here and we've got another transistor looking devices here Okay, and a couple of resistors. So I've managed to basically draw reverse engineer this circuit, which I'm going to show you just now. Now, before we can show that, let's first power this uh, device on again. Now let's go ahead and turn the solar lamp on. As you can see, we just turned it on there. So the PR sensor need to detect motion for it to come back on, as you can see. Okay, so now I'm going to simulate the light source onto this mini solar panel there. And that will turn off the lamp. Okay, so that basically what we did in the previous tutorial by showing the functionality of this mini solar lamp. Okay, now as it is running off the battery right now, if there is no motion, it will turn the LED off. You have to wave or basically provide some motion for it to stay on. Great, so that basically how these... Uh, mini solar lamp operate please watch part one of the tutorial where i basically uh, explain the functionality of this uh, charge controller here great now let's go ahead and discuss this led board that i have already drawn out i'm going to just show it to you guys now so this is basically the circuit for this led board as you can see here so the power source for the circuit is v plus and V minus basically plus V and minus V and from this board here as you can see so if you've watched part one of this tutorial we saw that there is a plus V there and there is a minus V there okay and this is a B plus and this is a B minus okay so the plus V and the minus V is what is supplying power to the LED board I have soldered two wires here on V plus and V minus, which later on I'm going to connect a multimeter to basically show you uh, how that voltage uh, behave when there is a light source on the solar module here. Okay, and that way we can see how this circuit also react based on the behavior or based on the light source available on the solar panel. But before we get to that, let's go ahead and first discuss this circuit quickly here. So as you can see here, I've got plus V and I have minus V. 
Now we've already concluded that the LEDs here, all these five LEDs are connected in parallel. Now the reason they are in parallel, we've already said that, that is so that they can work off this 3.2 volt battery. Because if you take them and connect them in series, you're going to need a much a bigger battery with a bigger voltage to drive the LEDs. Now in parallel, you only need one 3 volt and all of them will be sharing the same voltage pass and they will turn on. Now the transistor here will be dropping a small voltage, okay? when it turns on when it turns on and that voltage will be very little so that it does not burn a lot of power now based on my understanding of the circuit uh this one here is the transistor okay this is the transistor it's an npn transistor and over here this side u1 this is an ldo right so that is a linear low dropout uh, regulator okay so that's the one we've got here and that's the reason and the reason being is that the pr sensor here the pr sensor here is a 2.5 volt pr sensor so it will not work from a 3.1 volt if you connect a 3.1 volt directly this pr sensor might misbehave or it might fail this is why you need this ldo regulator okay so that's the very very tiny sort two three pins uh integrated circuit there that is an ldo so we got a 3.1 volt on the input and it's output a 2.5 volt which i i have already measured okay and confirmed that so the two capacitors they basically just one for the input and the other one for the output filtering great so now when you come into your pr sensor here it's receiving a 2.5 volt obviously it will also output a 2.5 5 volt and that 2.5 volt is basically going into the transistor uh, base here to basically turn it on okay that is a transistor driving this led so the default uh, settings here is that the leds right they're working off the battery so that basically means when there is no light source okay when there is no light source there will be battery voltage available across this terminal and that will result on a 2.5 volt here and that 2.5 volt will be enough to basically turn on the pr sensor and it will provide a 2.5 volt that will bias this transistor here and then allow the led current to flow okay now the 1 meg and the 250 kilo ohm resistance here so that basically these two resistors here now these two resistors they basically just for stability of the PR sensor it's like a control loop to the output of the PR sensor okay now that is for it to detect motion properly now the condition to turn off the LEDs that will occur when there is basically no more motion when there is no more motion this output here the 2.5 volt will drop okay to zero well, once it drops to zero obviously this transistor will turn off when the transistor turn off then the led they will go off the only way you can bring them back on is by waving in front of the motion sensor okay and that will then bring the 2.5 volt back on and turning the transistor on again and you're going to get your light source now that's basically how these circuit operate okay so this is how it operate now to demonstrate quickly here i'm going to put a multimeter on these two wires here then we're going to observe the behavior of this 3.1 volt great so now let's go ahead and turn this on i've got my multimeter connected as you can see there is 3.07 volt okay so the battery is slightly discharging okay so now i need to wave across the motion sensor you can see there the voltage remains the same but the motion sensor went down because there was no motion now i can assure you if i put a probe across there uh, here you can see that the 2.5 volt will change the logic 0 to 2.5 volt let's go ahead and measure the 2.5 volt okay so i'm going to be probing right on the output of the ldo right going into the base of the transistor as you can see there is a 2.5 volt now when i put the light source on the panel you can see that 
the 2.5 volt also falls away as the light turns off. And when I remove it, the 2.5 volt comes back on. Now you can see that the 2.5 volt is completely flat, zero volt, and that is because the PR sensor completely turned the light source, the light off, because there is no motion. So I'm going to wave to basically wake up the PR sensor to turn the LED on, and you're going to notice that the 2.5 is going to come back on. There we go. You can see that the 2.5 volt came back on. So that's basically how it is operating here. Now, when I put my light source on the panel, you can see that the 3 volt here dropped to zero, and that result on turning off the LED. So when the 3 volt dropped to zero, obviously this... A regulator here is going to turn off and the PR sensor is also going to turn off. You have to remove the light source to bring back the 3 volt and the circuit will work. Now you can see the light source is off. Okay. Now that is precisely because the PR sensor is off. Okay. The 2.5 volt is low. I have to bring my finger there. Then I can bring the light on. So that's basically how these operate. And this is obviously in accordance with this controller circuit here that is actually sending the signal and doing all the work of either or of also charging the battery right there. So thank you guys for watching. If you find this very useful, please give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to SimTech channel. That will be highly appreciated. Until next time. Cheers.